Hello, hi, I'm Patricia, and today we're going to talk about Through the Tunnel. This has to do with not only the Mercury retrograde, it actually started before, right around the full moon. You're going to notice that the energies get really intense at two of the lunar phases, and Mercury retrograde is coming again, as it does four times a year. But this Mercury shadow, uh, this is really going to be intense for people. Hi, I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel, Twin Flame Reconnection. The very first thing you're going to feel is it is affecting your gut. Now, why does this affect your gut? This is where a lot of people hold emotion, especially men, and especially if your Twin Flame is a man or you're a man. It's going to feel like it's affecting what we loosely call in English your gut, your stomach, your intestines, your colon, basically your evacuation system, your digestion. Why is that? Because as we push through this energy, a lot of people are, you're getting squeezed like a tube of toothpaste, you know, until it feels like you have head pressure. And something's got to give. Now, it can feel particularly intense. And that's a kind of on purpose thing. We are also having geomagnetic storms. There's a lot going on energy wise. Collectively, we have already sort of lifted and shifted. And this means that people are much more sensitive to it meaning you can feel things affecting you. You don't always have a full context for it. Like, why is this happening to me? You'll hear it all around you. People saying, well, I'm kind of going through something or my brother's going through something or I think this person is having some kind of a symptom and they're going through things and how you know when it's ascension, it comes on very suddenly, like, you know, very fiery, like Leo. And we're getting into the Leo season, which is also the Lion's Gate, okay, preceding the Lion's Gate. So what does it have to do with your gut? And you're going to see this out uh, probably in the media. You're going to see it in your neighborhoods. We're, we've been seeing it for a while. You know, we're not just seeing this bursting out angry energy. That angry energy implodes on itself and makes people sick to their stomach. You can feel queasy, you can feel nauseous, you can eat something. You're going to feel the mood of people that have prepared your food. You order a pizza, you're going to feel it. You order some kind of carry out, you're going to feel it. If you're eating foods that are, you know, sort of mass produced, you're going to feel the lethargy of the people that work in these uh, factories. And sometimes I don't, I don't really want to hear how everyone can eat so organic. Organic food is super expensive and not everyone on the journey can do it. There is a way to do this and I want to explain some things to you so that it will help you ease it up for this. Now, the number one thing I do do is shift people's energies. I balance your chakras, I integrate things, but here's some things that you can do because within that queasiness, Okay, think about being in trouble. Now, if you're a kid and you're in trouble or you're constantly in trouble or you have alcoholic parents or drug addicted parents or everything and they're always in a rage state, right? Everything's a crisis. This is a lot of people because why? Because alcohol is readily available. It's affordable. It's readily available. So it could be some of that where it's just like, and, you know, like moods come and emotions come and all of a sudden you're like, oh, someone's dissatisfied with their job and you're like, oh, I'm feeling it. This is going to be what's happening behind closed doors, the private stuff, the thing that happens in marriages. So if you are a married twin flame, take heed because there's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to hide. Your soul needs this out. Your soul needs you to move along. Your higher self is going to squeeze and squeeze and squeeze until it, it's making you feel like something's got to give. Fighting, okay? And this could be actual physical violence, domestic violence, threat of domestic violence, threats, dissension. This could be with neighbors. This could be in your neighborhood. 
dissension, discord, thievery, okay? And I've been hearing stories, people trying to take land. I, I was literally at someone's barbecue on the weekend and they said that a neighbor took the easement, five feet of the easement for a road. It would have cost her $15,000 to fight that thievery. She let it go because how much are we supposed to fight and hold in our gut? That was a personal decision. But this is the kind of crap, the kind of junk that human beings do to each other that is no longer acceptable for your soul. This is the things that we've tolerated in the fourth dimension. Crime, all the hidden stuff. I had another situation where... Um, because the one spouse was suspicious of the other spouse. Listen to this. They had lied to their spouse about their son receiving a scholarship, the four-year scholarship for university, and lied to the other spouse. The other spouse paid in cash, and they did something, put it in their pocket or sent it on to the country they were from, and so there's these kind of deceit things that happen behind closed doors in a marriage. Those things are people married, they're siphoning off money. It's still criminal mentalities. And this is what we are doing. All of the things that the gut has had to hold on to that are part of a mentality like mob mentality, criminal mentalities, criminal light. Okay. Like, Oh, it's just a little white collar crime. It's just a little lie of omission. I just hid some stuff because I was afraid of what you would do. That's all the hidden stuff in people's families, relationships, situationships, and karmic. It is so karmic. It is like we're starting to scrape the bottom of the barrel of, you know, the karma. And this is this is definitely. We're talking about the gut, but what is this? This is root and crown. That's what I clear on people, root and crown, so that people cannot hook you in. They can't trick you, deceive you. It is a process. It involves doing the proper energy work and integration of your new twin flame body so that it doesn't keep happening to you. Because you don't need to carry this forward for a new relationship. What else with your gut ascension? I'm going to recommend this. I'm going to recommend this again around lunar energy. Be a veggie person, okay? Notice I'm not saying vegan. I'm not saying vegetarian. Be a veggie person. Have low carbs. Carbs are made from veggies. Don't have the starchy kind, okay? Don't have carbs that are fried. Don't have carbs that are made by other people like mass produced breads make your own stuff you want a piece of cake make your own damn cake <laughs> in fact make a pie with fruits fruits and veggies okay this is not being a fruitinarian this is for a few days to give your gut a break for god's sake so that the energy of your body can be used to get this stuff out you will feel much happier what happens if you don't? You get gas, you get bloating, you get constipation, diarrhea, headaches, sniffles, allergies. You can have allergies in the lower body. You can have allergies to uh, components of foods. You can have allergens that are in foods, okay? I don't care how organic you are. I have found that sometimes the more organic stuff is and stamped all over it, it, it tastes blah to me. I would rather eat something made with love. Please have things made with love. Eat the actual plants. This means have a salad, okay? You can have some protein with it. What do you eat for protein? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, the same ingredients in vegan cheese, I don't know, a lot of oils. Some people are allergic to those oils. They're allergic to soybeans. They're allergic to grape seed, okay? So there are allergens that people have to starches as well. They're allergic to potatoes, wheat, tapioca. I have a reaction to tapioca. I, I can't really have it. It feels very um, sluggish in me. I get, I get like this, okay? 
I don't care that much. It's not a very common thing. Potatoes I love. But refraining from things, having carbs like what? Broccoli, cauliflower. You can do this for a few, three, four days. Of course you can. And if you can't, get my book on Twin Flame Ascension and Inner Healing, where I talk about that. I talk about intermittent fasting, and I also talk about juicing. Because juicing is a really good way to get your fruits and veggies. There's a lot of benefits to it also because it will improve your taste buds. It improves the way food feels in you and what you're sensing and helps you to eat a little more intuitively, provides the enzymes so that you don't have the gas, the bloat, and the constipation. The very easy thing to do. Yet people think it's a pain in the ass because they got to clean the juicer. It's not the same as blending. And I, I talk about that distinction in my book as well. So let's break this down. If you're new to Twin Flames and Twin Flame Ascension, you're going to be feeling certain symptoms. So when if you're first starting out and this is just coming into your awareness, some of the things you can feel are cravings and overeating. You might feel bingy. You might feel like you want to eat sugar till the cows come home. Or eat a lot of salty things like bags of chips and stuff like that. Don't do it. Have some discipline. Discipline is needed. You might even rationalize it and say, well, I'm eating for two. I'm eating for me and my twin flame. That's a very common joke amongst us. Ha ha ha. There are times when you can possibly eat for your twin flame if they are not getting enough nutrients. You want to send the signal, hey, more protein. Hey, appropriate things. Okay, there are things that are made um, in certain ways that are so loaded up with carbs that it makes people sluggish. Okay, like I'll give you an example because we used to do this during Lent. I was raised Catholic and, you know, you have Lent, so you can't eat any meat on Friday, right? Well, hands down, almost everyone in the neighborhood, they were not switching over to plants they were making really rich dishes with cheeses and pasta like lasagna, just no meat, okay? And those are heavy to digest. If you're eating vegan prepared foods, really look at the ingredients because if you're seeing the carb count like above 30 grams per serving, eh, that's going to like put you to bed in a bad way. In other words, it's not necessary. You need high water content food, fruits and veggies, salads, um, get things that are, you know, good for you. Um, I love to cook. So for me, this is sort of easy. My father was a diabetic. We had to eat in a certain way. We had to, had to, had to. Okay. Now, if you're a few years into your ascension, into your twin flame journey or longer, let's say four to five years in, you may have low appetite and you don't feel like you're eating for two. In fact, you may feel listless and really low. And again, you're going through the tunnel. You are the people going through the tunnel. This is, how can I say this? There are things that you are just not going to sense from your twin flame. I don't care how good you are at trying to glean what's happening from the 5D twin you're not going to be able to pay attention to you and low appetite, no eating for two, pay attention to your body. This is where it is all at your body, your light body, the seeds are in you. The integration is in you and only you can do this with my guidance, with my teaching, with my healing feelings. I've had this from people lately. They have a real strong sense that somehow they're at the end. They don't need to do anything more. They're okay. They're good. What that actually is, is a sense of balance. Okay. They may have balanced masculine and feminine. You're not done yet. <laughs> You're not done because there are footholds to be made. There are integrations to be made and you actually may not have cleared. So until I talk to people, I really can't say with certainty what else they may be clearing or what's coming up. But again, they will be squeezed. They will, people are getting squeezed, okay? It's not, there are breakups. If you're done, your other half is going to have some breakups to do. Divorce, okay, we are in energy where divorces are intended to happen. 
and are intended to come to fruition, are intended to not just think about it, not just consult about it, not just like, you know, mull it out and then retreat back into fear, back into financial fears. It does take a real leap of faith, but your connection with your higher self is what gives you the strength and the love to enable this and get it on track. So that's also some good news that I had had from someone and they're in France and six months ago, they made an application for the financial support from their government in France to apply for the divorce and get the lawyer. Now, the same thing exists here in Illinois. It's about a six months window. If you've applied for it, it should come to fruition. If you have not applied for it, get those wheels turning because the breakups are here. And what that means is you can't sustain a relationship that's toxic and not for you. You can't uh, have it supported. You're tie yourself in soul. The karmic crap is still going to happen. I've seen people drain out $80,000 from their kids' bank accounts because of karmic stuff that happened that was allocated for education. And that's not a good thing because that's like squandering it when it's able to be prevented. Okay? Don't stay in a karmic situation because, and you'll see a video I've made uh, previously, karmic draining. Okay? It's a real thing. Your appliances break, your car breaks, the money you've allocated for one thing has to go somewhere else. Okay, don't do it. Don't do it. It's the breakups. See me if you need guidance on things. Like really, let's be sensible about this. Let's use the sense that God gave you to get your senses open, get the guidance that's necessary for this. Desolate, low energy, in the void. If you feel like you're in a void, guess what? You're in the tunnel. Where's the light at the end of that tunnel? Some of this will continue into September, okay? It's not going to be fun. There's going to be peak pressure around the 15th. And you are each relying on the other to get your things done. Stop the blaming. Stop thinking that your twin isn't doing anything. You have... Uh, each agreed to this and it's not possible for them to renege, which is why they get squeezed. I have seen a lot of men where push is coming to shove and they are starting to take the actions that they need to. Now you still need to keep up with you and what you need to do, which is why I have my classes, I have one-on-one -on -one sessions, and I have books. So please check the links below for those materials too to help you. Thanks so much for watching and let me know how I can help you. We do coaching, we do the twin flame breath, which opens your expanded light body. And that's important. That's how you don't feel these things like geomagnetic storms as much and solar flares. There is a way to do this and I'm very proud to teach it. And I'm very humbled when things have breakthroughs like the good news like hey the financial aid came through it wasn't out of her pocket but it is going to free her up to get her finances in order get her business on track and get the things into her name that she needs he's trying to steal her property that her father gave her tricking everyone that's thievery and crime even people we've been married to can be thieves or something they're like taking our I don't know, our purity. Let's stop it, okay? The buck stops here. Let's do the right things. Let's get this done the twin flamey way. Thank you. Bye.